Alan, huge congratulations. How does it feel to be the first name on that amazing trophy and be the Betfred Women's Match Play champion? No, it feels amazing. I mean, like, do, if someone had said that to me like a week ago, I was like, really? Like, I, I don't believe you. But, you know, I always kind of had like, Self belief in myself, and I can look at I can look at this and think all the pressure that's behind me and stuff is worth it. You know, just to say that I've won like a really big title and stuff, and I think that's the biggest trophy I've ever won in my life. Through the day, you played some very consistent stuff. That must please you. Cause it's been a difficult few months or so. The form's been up and down, but today was more like the old you. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, you know, I just need to kind of put the hours in more and focus on what I actually want to do and stuff because this one I knew it was to get to the Grand Slam and that's what I wanted to do, like, for definite. And I want to get to the Grand Slam, so I tried my hardest to try and win it. Just as soon as Lisa went out, I was like, okay, I have to win it. Um, so, yeah, I think it's what it is. You played on many magnificent stages, Ali Pali, Madison Square Garden. But how did it feel coming here, walking through and playing on that iconic stage? Probably about the same, because they're all iconic. You know, to me, it was like, oh my God, I'm actually at an, another iconic venue. You know, I'm going to take every opportunity I can and kind of run with it. And, you know, I've done really well now. So I'm, really, I'm pleased I'm taking the, like each opportunity that I'm getting and I'm just not embarrassing myself. The trajectory Ladies Darts is on is unreal right now. The PDC have announced an expansion of the Ladies Series as well. And obviously this is the showcase event for you to go there. Is this now the premier event in women's darts? Yeah, I think it is, to be fair. I'm, n I'm not being funny. Like It's because it's such a small number of women that can actually qualify for it. Um, I think it's kind of making it, you know, women want to play. They want to play on the big stages. They want to play, you know, for money, like really big money. And, you know, if because it's such a small, it's only eight, um, so hopefully it encourages more women, you know, to play in the women's series and kind of go, do you know what, they've done really well at that competition, I want to be part of it, I want to try and get to the Grand Slam and I want to try and get to the Worlds. Well, many congratulations. Thank you. Following how were the nerves coming into this event, obviously you played in some of the sports' biggest tournaments. Absolutely, over the top. Like, I was so nervous coming into this because I didn't know what I was going to do because obviously the World Series had been like up and down and stuff. And I was like, okay, I just need to kind of try and focus and, you know, try and just produce something. And I think I'd done enough, you know, obviously, but I think there's still more in the, like, there's still more I can do and I, I think I'm going to go away from this filled with confidence and hopefully you'll see a better fellow next time you see me on TV. Yeah, what does this do for you now going into the next batch of World Series events? Hopefully it boosts me confidence, you know, I, I know what I'm capable of and I know, you know, what I can do so hopefully it's like, you know, I've just won this, I, I, I first title of one, so <coughs> take it and run with it now. Cheers, fun. Thank you. Fun, it could have been a very different story in that first round with Katie as well, she proved some excellent darts. How were the nerves in that moment when Katie was throwing the Yeah, I'm quite grateful she missed them doubles, <laughs> to be honest, kind of let me in. Um, but yeah, no, I knew Katie was going to play well anyway, because she just reminds me, uh, me of me when I was younger. You know, you're not scared of anyone or anything, you just go and play your game. And it's quite scary to think, you know, how she's playing now, what she's going to be like in a couple of years, you know. She's already, you know, got herself onto the stage. so more opportunities given to her, she's going to excel. Yeah, we've got Katie, we've also got Chloe O'Brien, and mm -hmm. Bo Greaves already said she'll be playing in the, the women's series mm -hmm. next year. The, the standard's just going to go up and up. Isn't yeah, it? but I think what it is as well, like, I think it's going to make us play better as well. Um, I think all these like young people coming through, you know, kind of pushing the game, it's going to make us, you know, normal people who do it as well, uh, play better because we know we're going to have to draft our game. So I cannot wait you know, to see what's pushed against me now. Do you think Bo will be right up there with you and Lisa in the Order of Merit? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, Bo's just like quality now. Imagine, you know, next year when she's got all the experience and stuff and doing all the WDF, you know, she's already world champion. Imagine how many other people she's going to be able to push and it'd be exciting to see where Bo finishes at the uh, Women's Series next year. Okay, thanks, Thank you. Fallon, how far are we away from a women's world championship? I don't know. I think there's like a few, you know, boundaries that need to kind of be crossed first. I think, you know, we, we've just got like eight women now. Um, there's a few others, but there is still a massive gap. So I think we do need, you know, the women's series to carry on and kind of give the other women more confidence and, you know, <coughs> more professional play. And then hopefully in like a 
couple of years and stuff we might be looking at that but i genuinely think it ain't far off we just need to kind of boost all the other women with confidence because i think that's just what women are lacking yeah i know eddie Hearn spoke about it previously but obviously it's something that's on the horizon and Hopefully. you're all pushing for it Hopefully, I mean, I, I've just kind of knocked this like barrier off my thing because I've never done well on a women's event, so I'm like, okay, no, I've done well this time, so it's fine. But how good would it, you know, to see it at the Women's World Championship at Ali Pale? No, it'd be really good. I, I mean, it'd be a great opportunity for the women as well, and it kind of show both obviously what we can do, and hopefully, you know, instead of seeing us on an odd occasion, see us more regularly, you know, hitting 90 to 100 averages because we 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 can do it. It's just news we need, you know more opportunities to prove ourselves and get the confidence. What is it about the biggest stage that sort of brings the best out of you? I don't know what it is. It's every time that I'm so bad on the floor. But you put me on full in stage and I just seem to kind of just cross the line and do really well and I'm just like, I don't know, maybe it's a adrenaline rush, I don't know. Mm. So if Women's Darts does continue, there's more events like this, that's kind of good for you, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's obviously going to help my game if there's more opportunities for the women and stuff. And but I still obviously would like, you know, to play against the men as well because I love playing against the men because it's like, you know, you know what you're getting. You know you're getting the 90 to 100 averages, whereas when you play the women at the moment because they're not filled with a lot of confidence, you could get a 90 average or you can get a 75. There's quite a difference in it. Uh, the last TV tournament that you won was the 2018 BDO Women's World and you've obviously done a ton since then. What is it like to briefly take a moment and reflect on everything you've achieved in that time to now? Do you know what, I was actually thinking of that earlier, because I was like, uh, I, I thought, oh, I'll play Lorraine in the semi. I was like, yeah, no, I played her at the World Trophy, and like, stuff like that, so it kind of geared me on knowing that I could beat Lorraine and stuff like that. But, you know, looking back and, all oh, that, it's just mental to think how much has happened since then. And, but every little thing that I do, you know, just boosts me in confidence, and I hope that I can just carry on just doing what I'm doing. And obviously when we talk about the future of darts, it's changed so much, month to month even, within the women's game. What are your goals for the future and plans for the future? Obviously you're still in the WDF Order of Merit, are you looking to go back to the Worlds there? Are you looking for Q School? What are you looking for? Sky's the limit now. <laughs> I don't even know if we're still on that, uh, you know. Um, but no, I just want to take every opportunity that I can, you know, whatever combo I can qualify for and stuff like that, I will. But I think at the moment, you know, I want to try and win like more trophies like this. I want to try and win more majors. I want to try and make a living for me and my little boy at the moment. You know, I'm just going to take every opportunity I can and try and have fun with it. I haven't actually set any set goals. Um, but obviously, every comp I play in, I want to win. You don't go into a comp thinking you can, like, oh, first round, I'll be all right. Like, no one ever thinks that. And how do you celebrate a big win like this? Do you have time between now and Australia to enjoy yourself properly? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, it depends what Harriet's doing later, to be fair, when we get home. So I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing yet. But I'm Rumours that you're still in the market for a new car from Lexus. <laughs> yes. No, please give me a new car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.